Well, a group out of Florida has launched what they call a mass shooter prevention hotline, which they say could prevent a tragedy from happening anywhere in the country. This new hotline is being monitored 24-7 with staff who've been specifically trained to talk with potential shooters. Any information they receive will then be passed on to law enforcement. So joining me now, Sean Canoni, who spearheaded the creation of this hotline. Sean, thank you so much about you know, for giving us some of your time. And so many of us. Thanks have, for having me. We, you know, we have issues, obviously, with, with the number of mass shootings in our country. We can't seem to figure out how to solve it. Talk about why you decided to open this call center specifically. Basically, is people are in a state of mind where they're actually crashing for a couple of months prior to doing a mass shooting, and they're actually looking for help. And one of the answers to the help that they find is to be killed by a police officer. So anytime we have a hot call where we know the target, uh, we know where the person is and he's going to do a shooting in a few minutes or even a day, we're going to get a hold of law enforcement. But if, if someone just calls us looking for help, we're going to give them services. Maybe they don't mention a the target. They just say, look, I have stressed out. I really feel like I'm going to do a mass shooting. We're going to work very hard in, in bringing them services. We're going to find out where they're located and bring them services to their location or have them go to a location to get services. The whole idea is to de-escalate them and let them know that they have a friend that they can speak to because a lot of these people, even one act of kindness can stop them, as we've known from other previous uh, people who want to do shootings and decided not to because of an act of kindness. You know, and Sean, talk about what has the response been so far, both before this was actually live and now that it is? Well, we haven't got any calls just yet, which is really, really good. I don't think anybody in the country is actually taking calls from people who are potentially able to do a mass shooting. The research out there does show that we can, if we can get to these people, the right locations, like where we place our ads, like maybe in gun magazines and so forth, the person planning to do this may call us and reach out. And that's what it's all about, getting the person when they're in the crash mode and de-escalate the situation. Absolutely. And Sean, so you said you haven't received calls yet, um, but I'm sure that you will. And, and you have said you do expect this hotline to receive some live hot calls. Talk about what that means and talk about how the staff is ready in those instances. That means we have a caller who says, look, I'm outside of a school right now and I'm going to go shoot as many people as I can. At that point, the world stops. We plead with them in every possible way at the same token of trying to find out where they're located so we can get law enforcement to their location. We're going to ask them to please turn themselves in. And if they decide not to do the mass shooting, then we're going to tell them what to do when the police arrive. We had a SWAT team commander come in and um, work with us on procedures. We want to keep the law enforcement safe and the shooter safe. These people want help. They just have not got it. They've been lost by the system. And we're going to do follow-ups, continually follow-ups with these individuals to let them know, hey, there's a way out of this. You know, you talk about doing those follow-ups. You talk about needing help. What kind of training do the people who are on the other end of those calls, what kind of training do they need to be a part of this? Okay, most of my staff has worked with me for almost 25 to 30 years. The uh, at the shelter took severe people who were suffering from psychosis, paranoid uh, thoughts, uh, people who heard voices, and we've had several instances where people had a knife up to their neck and so forth, where we actually talked them down. Um, we actually took care of one shooter who had a gun in a, in a furniture store, and he wasn't a client, but they had called me to help, and I did escalated them where he, he didn't do the shooting in the store. So we're, we're also reaching out for other venues of uh, uh, learning, just not me. We're going over suicide calls. We potentially think we may just get some suicide calls as well, uh, and we'll refer them up to obviously 988. But if these people are suicidal in a sense that if suicide prevention lines work and people call for help, we're assuming people that may want to do a mass shooting may give us a call. And that's what we're gambling for. That's what we're hoping for. We get one person help or they don't do a shooting or we take a few AK-47s or AR-15s out of the hands of people who are really about to crash. We've done our job, and I'd be very happy with that. 
Absolutely. Yeah. Helping even one person would make such a difference in so many lives. Uh, Sean, you're obviously talking to me right now, but what are some of the other ways you want to get the word out about this hotline? Because that's the important thing, making sure people know about it. Yeah, we're contacting people, manufacturers, uh, the NRA, and asking them to please do public service announcements. We're telling them, you know, there's a lot of tools that need to be done put in this toolbox to help stop these mass shootings. We're not necessarily against guns. We're going to ask the NRA. They've said it over and over. Hey, it's mental illness. It's it's not the guns. Well, we're going to ask them to run PSAs on their websites, their magazines, and to get the word out there as well. But we put the money where the mouth is at this point in time, and it runs some ads. Well, Sean Canoni, uh, certainly doing great work, really stepping up, trying to make a difference. Uh, thank you so much for your time. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.